Roof Forum has a network of 105 universities drawn from 37 African countries. The conference has brought together over 900 delegates from academia, private sector, government development partners, students and farmers. The conference is hosted by the Kenyan government through the Ministry of Education and 12 Roof Forum members, universities in Kenya. As a run-up to the official opening of the conference, Cabinet Secretary Education, Ambassador Amina Mohamed, chaired a ministerial roundtable at the University of Nairobi in the morning hours. I believe for us to truly engage on these important issues, we need to do the following. First, we need to expand access to higher education from the current less than 10% compared to a global average of 32% to guarantee greater and equal access to opportunities. Second, we need to increase research output and knowledge relevant for our own growth. Third, training must be made more relevant to, the current, to our current and future needs and with greater focus on production and entrepreneurship. Four, we must build capacity by ensuring that our universities and other training institutions have highly qualified and incentivized staff. Five, we need to explore closer collaboration in our education strategies across the continent and build stronger avenues for collaboration as well as build stronger and transformative universities. In a press briefing, the CS highlighted how critical the conference is to Kenya and the whole of Africa. But this meeting here today, ladies and gentlemen, is so critically important for the development of this continent, for the industrialization of this continent. Yeah? We cannot continue lagging behind. Right? Well, at the same time, knowing fully well that we actually have the potential to leapfrog across many, many sectors, yeah? Agriculture, key. We're not able to feed ourselves today. I was just talking about how much money we're spending, right, to import food from elsewhere. And yet, we have the most fertile land, yeah, across the globe. Why is that so? Let's address some of those things. How can we innovate? More university. Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture. Later on in the afternoon, Ruforum was officially opened at an event at KICC, where the keynote speaker, Her Excellency First Lady of the Republic of Uganda and Minister of Education and Sport, Janet Museveni, registered her disappointment on how Africa hasn't exploited the human capital. As you all are aware, Africa's participation in higher education as measured by higher education gross enrollment ratio is very low at 6.2% on average compared to the world average which is 34%. This means that human capacity development in Africa is lagging behind the rest of the world. Now, without high quality human capital the enormous natural resources God has endowed the African continent with continue to lack the most important capital, which is labor, to transform it for social economic development and prosperity of its people. The Ugandan First Lady went ahead to challenge the participants to support the African Agenda 2063. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to remind ourselves that Africa's Agenda 2063 compels us to keep at the forefront the knowledge that Africa must be a strong, resilient and influential global player and partner, which requires men and women who are ready to run the reform agenda with a passion to transform Africa through any program we set our minds to. If it is agriculture, then let's ask ourselves first why Africa cannot feed her population during good and bad times. Um, 
CS Amina, who read the president's speech, reiterated on how investing in agriculture is a promising venture. Agriculture is our wisest pursuit because it will in the end contribute most to, wealth, to real wealth, good morals, and happiness. Ladies and gentlemen, we can do better, we must do better. We can plan better, we can invest smarter, and we can expand our partnerships. It's a queen from Malawi. The event culminated with the Ruforum Awards 2018 to individuals making impact on Africa's development agenda. The awardees included the former University of Nairobi Vice Chancellor John Gishaga, who was recognized for his contribution in turning University of Nairobi into a center of excellence. Reporting for Bramplas TV, I am Karari John Wambugu.